And you can tell these players are starting to bust to trust in what he's teaching. Against the Blitz, Blau's throw got away. And um, compete for a title. Here comes Ball, blitzing off the edge. Blau directing traffic, rolling out, throws it away. And it's third and ten. Losses. Posey in motion. He's been a big third down target this year. Blau chased and throws it away in the direction of first three games. Has not cracked 50 since. There's Jones out of the backfield. Has the original line of scrimmage and more, and this will bring up all over again. I bet he'd, he'd go with that type of thinking. Frankford Johnson. He's got some room, and he picks up a first down. Mm -hmm. And he does a good job of running behind his pads. Wild to the air, wants the end zone, incomplete, broken up by who else? Rashard Fant, the FBS leader, and passes defended and PBUs. Yeah, I tell you what, Fant is the top corner, and Yancey's the top wide receiver, and, and you know that's the matchup that you want right here. Let's take a look at it. These two guys going at it at the bottom of your screen here. Fant 16, great job of getting to the line, of the goal line, and stopping. Markel Jones, stiff arm, and tripped up in the backfield by F Screen pass, tipped, and it dropped incomplete. That was probably... Wow, floats one downfield for Yancey, incomplete. There is a flag. He was covered by Richard Fant. Pass interference, defense, number 16. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. One-on-one -on -one matchup down here at the bottom of your screen. Let's see where they call the foul there. Yeah, the tug there. And you, you saw it. Fant grabbed some of that jersey. He was in a good position, and it actually happened prior to there. But, you know, with Yancey, with that being, you know, maybe a hand link play in situations like that. Spoken like a DB. <laughs> wow, finds Posey. One cut. Touchdown, Purdue! On second and six, Blau to the air against the three-man rush. He'll tuck it and run. Sidesteps across the 40 before he's taken down by the true freshman Marcelino. Looks like they're showing a corner blitz. On the ground, a first down for Purdue. The ball comes out. Here's the blitz. Blau finds D'Angelo Yancey who reaches for a first down. Yeah, watch the route. This is the matchup downstairs you're watching. Oh, my goodness. That was an excellent in-cutting route on one of the top corners of this team, Rashad Fent. After a first down, play action. Blau all day. Downfield, Yancey is open. And incomplete just a little too far. Fent and Yancey, watch these guys down here competing. He gets something on him. Fant, I thought, had some bad eyes. Still looking back in the backfield. But the ball just outside of the reach of Yancey. Wow, again with time. Again going for Yancey. Touchdown, Purdue! He put that on the money. And the Boilermakers take the lead. Between Fant and Yancey, this is your matchup to follow down here. And these guys are battling. This is a beautifully thrown ball. It's thrown on his outside shoulder, which allowed Yancey, who... Wow, finds D'Angelo Yancey down at the 25. Uh Edge pressure. Wow, rolling to his right, throwing. Crawford comes down with it, but they say he was out of bounds. During the play, personal foul, face mask, defense, number 16. You're going to see it at the top of your screen between these two guys. And let's see what we got here. He goes with the quick jam and got a, a handful of face masks. I don't know if he got caught in there or not. It looked like he was trying to get his hand out of there. That's what he's saying. There's the pressure. Wow, off his back foot. Caught by Yancey. And D'Angelo Yancey with just enough. These dudes are battling. Just an in-breaking route. It looked like Fant overset himself and got outside. That's a problem when you... There's the blitz. Wow, stands in. He's got Yancey. And a first down by D'Angelo Yancey at the 20.
Lyle downfield, he wants Yancey, it's intercepted! Jonathan Crawford with his second pick.